Hello, everyone. I am popping in today with an impromptu live because as I've been sharing my passion with you about how important it is to me to get up and get dressed every day and what a huge impact that has on me, on my brain, on my self-esteem, on everything in my life. I have had some of you ask me a question that I thought I should answer for everyone. And the question is, do you ever wear loungewear or yoga pants? And the answer is yes. Yes, I do. And I'm going to tell you when I wear them because I do. I have a healthy selection of very cute loungewear and yoga pants. So when I'm dressed, one of the reasons it helps me so much is because it tells my brain that we're working. We are on duty today. And as a stay at home mom, I, I left my career to be a stay at home mom 13 years ago when I, uh, <clears throat> when I found out I was pregnant with the triplets and it was a very high risk pregnancy. So I had to leave my job early. Um, but I wanted to be a stay at home mom. That's always been my goal. And, um, when I was a stay at home mom and now I'm a work from home mom, stay at home mom, drive the kids around all over town mom. But in the days when my only job was as a stay at home mom, it's a very important job. And I showed up to it as a job. I showed up to that job as a stay at home mom, like I would any job. I was dressed and ready to go. And now I am still dressed and ready to go for whatever that day may bring. A jeans, a pair of jeans and a t-shirt is, is enough for me to be dressed and ready to go for this job. It's a casual uh, work environment at my house and I was prepared for anything. I'm still prepared for anything, whether I was staying home all day or whether we had to go out unexpectedly. Um, I was ready no matter what for my job as a mom because it is a job. It's a hard job. It's a challenging job. And not only did I feel better, do I feel better showing up for myself for 20 minutes in the morning and looking put together, but I, I got more done. I was more efficient and effective. I'm more motivated. I am, I'm just ready for anything. It made me feel better, but I get more done. And I, I could just, I could take off at any moment if we had to go somewhere, if one of my kids um, came out, you know, woke up from a nap with a fever and we need to, I called the pediatrician and they said, hey, we can see you in 15 minutes. Cool. I'll get the kids. We load up and we go. And I'm not like, do you have anything later? Because I haven't showered today and I'm in my pajamas, you know, none of that. I could leave it. And I can't tell you how many times something that that happened, that happens. Um, or, you know, uh, someone shows up at the door, do you know, just anything. There's so many things that can happen in your day. And I was ready for any of it. But when my work day is over, when the kids are in bed, when the kitchen's cleaned up, and I am ready to be done, that's when I put on my loungewear. That is signaling my brain, we're, we're clocking out, we're done. We're done for the day, you can stop. You can stop picking things up, you can stop folding towels, you can stop mentally in this day because I stay in the day mentally. It's hard for me to switch out of it and my brain keeps revving and talking to me about what we did or didn't do, <laughs> what's coming up. You know, it's it's a transition for me. I change into some loungewear. I read a book or my husband and I have a few shows that we sometimes watch or we'll watch a movie or we'll just sit down and talk like two adults instead of um, two parents or two homeowners or all the things that this job of being an adult or parents involves. And um, that's a signal to my brain that it's time to quit. The other time that I like to wear loungewear is on Sundays after church. So anyway, I, we go, we get up and we get dressed up for church at our church. You know, the men wear suits and the women wear dresses and skirts and you know, I do my hair and my makeup and I get up and I get dressed for that. And then we come home 
and I change into loungewear because Sunday is our day off. It is our family day. It is our stay at home day. It is our relax and spend time with the family day. And I just really like to be comfortable on that day. We're not going anywhere. We don't go run errands. We don't go out to eat. We stay home on Sundays. And it's a signal to my brain that this is our day off. If I change into my regular clothes, my brain is like, oh good, let's get to work. I've been thinking about this and I've got some ideas, but how do you feel about starting in the storage room? Because I think it needs to be rearranged. And I don't wanna do that on Sundays. It's the only day that we are not scheduled from morning to night. The kids don't have any sports. We don't have to go anywhere and we can just stay home and be a family and not do the laundry, not clean our rooms, not rearrange the storage room. So on Sundays, I do like to wear my loungewear, but my hair is done and my makeup is done. So I would still open the door to anyone. And if one of my kids woke up from a nap with a fever and we felt like it couldn't wait and we needed to go to urgent care, we'd be out the door in a hot minute no problem. If the neighbors stop by or someone from church stops by, I can open the door. No worries. So I do wear loungewear during those two times. Or if I am so sick that I cannot get out of bed, like if I'm literally going to stay in bed all day because I am so sick, I will wear loungewear because I'm sleeping off and on all day. And then yoga pants. Do I wear yoga pants? I do. I wear them to go to yoga classes. And I wear them to my yoga class. And then I might stop somewhere on the way home. Like if the pharmacy is on the way home and I need to pick up a prescription or a quick run in to get some milk at the store. But I am not running all the errands in my yoga pants. And then I come home and I take a shower. And if it's a nighttime class, I take a shower and put on my loungewear. And if it's a morning class, I come home, I take a shower and I put on my clothes and I get ready and put together for the day. So I do wear loungewear, I do wear yoga pants. There is a space in my life for that tier of clothing. We've talked about the tiers of clothing in our lives, right? And so they are assigned to a specific part of my life they do have a place in my life. It's just not all day, every day. Um, so there's the answer. So many of you have asked me this question. You've sent me messages and comments along the way that I just wanted to tell everyone. I'm not saying no loungewear ever. I'm just saying that's not day wear. Like that's, that's time off wear. And when you're showing up in your life and your life is like in the morning. And I'll say this, someone else mentioned um, well, I decided to have a lazy Sunday morning in bed and I stayed in my loungewear and I didn't get up until 11 and get ready. That's cool. You can have a lazy morning in bed. I've done it. I do it occasionally, but still get up and get dressed. <laughs> I'm all about self-care. If you have that moment to just, oh, take a morning to yourself, do it and stay in your loungewear because you're having a, a, a morning off. It's like a little vacation day and you can dress for your vacation day, but all day, every day is not a vacation day for most of us. And when it's real life time, it's time to put on your real clothes. Um, <clears throat> so I just wanted to share that with you because I'm not saying that every morning you have to be up at 6 a.m., get your clothes on, get out the door. If you get up at eight and do it, whatever. If nine is your usual wake up time, that's fine. Get up and get dressed then, but get up and get dressed having a dress you'll feel so much better so i just wanted to also tell you that on christmas day yesterday in the capsule wardrobes for classic style facebook group we hit three thousand members and i'm so excited what a gift what a gift i was just like oh what a great day for this to happen and it's such an awesome gift that you've given to me that you, so many wonderful women have joined my group and want to talk about these things and share my passion for capsule wardrobes and classic style. And I just wanted to thank you so much 
for being part of my Facebook community and for inviting me into your life through Facebook. And as you come into the group, you tell me what your style challenges are. And the one that you he I hear from you over and over and over and over again is you want to look put together. You want to know how to create outfits. You want to learn how to use what you already have in your closet. You've got a closet full of clothes and nothing to wear because you're just not sure what to do with them. And that is why I created the Classic Style Academy. That is why I've done this. This is in response to you and what you've asked me for. And the new course perfectly put together the quick and easy way to create comfortable outfits that fit your lifestyle is my response to what you have asked me for. And enrollment is open until December 30th. And because you have invited me into your life in our Facebook community or on my email list, I am offering this course only to members of my community for this first time. And I'm offering it at $97 as my gift to you for being a part of my life and allowing me to be a part of your life. It will never be offered at this price again. Next year, I will open enrollment to everyone and the price will go up, but this time it's just for you. And this price this time is just for you. So I hope that you'll join me in the Classic Style Academy. It is going to be so much fun. The course begins on January 2nd, but it's a go at your own pace course. Every Tuesday and Thursday, you'll get a new lesson released to you. But you know, if you've got plans in early January, you can start when you get back. You'll have access to the course forever. It doesn't expire and you'll always be able to come back to it. If I ever make changes to it or upgrades to it, you'll have access to the most recent updated version, but this is the only time that you can get this price, which is why I want you to register now so you don't miss out on this because you can do the course when you're ready, but we start on January 2nd. And that's going to be such a fun way to start the new year. New year, put together you and learning how to use all those clothes in your closet that are just hanging there. And there'll be outfits that you love and that fit your lifestyle so that you can wear them with no worries and live your life looking and feeling your best. So I'm sharing the link to join me and all the other amazing women who are starting with us on January 2nd. And I would love to see you in there. Let me know what your questions are. If you're on the fence and like, oh, I don't know if I should, if I shouldn't, I'm tempted, but maybe not. Put your questions down here below and I will answer them for you. I would love to have you join me. So if there's something that's holding you back, let me know what it is and I I'll help you with it. I'll help you understand if this is the right thing for you or not, but I think you're gonna love it. This is, you know, I've, I have worked so hard on this over the last year, just making sure that it's what you asked for, what you want and what will help you the most. And I am really, really excited about this course. I really am. It's, it's unique and it is really going to help you learn to shop your closets and get up and get dressed because as you've talked to me, you've told me your number one obstacle is creating outfits. That's why I don't get up and get dressed every day. I don't, I'm not sure how to put together outfits or they're uncomfortable or I'm worried about ruining my clothes or, um, or I just don't like pants besides yoga pants. <laughs> so that's what we're going to address here. It's all about you. Everything is customized to you. It's not about my rules. It's all about you. And every one of you will have an absolutely unique experience and a unique end result. Your wardrobe and your outfits will be for you, perfect for you. You will not be a clone of me or of anyone else in the group. So anyway, thank you so much. I want to keep this short because I know that you're very busy, but I, I'm so excited to see so many of you in the group. And if you have questions, again, put them in the comments. I can't wait to answer them. I'll see you soon.